Today we're going to talk about how to get ChatGPT to help write you a summary of your blog articles so that you can get a Google featured snippet. Now, what is a Google featured snippet? It's something like this where Google will show a certain portion of your article to answer a question on Google. So I just typed in how fast can a horse run? Google answered it up here, but then Google gave this featured snippet. Sometimes this is called position zero because people in this position with a snippet get more traffic and therefore if they have their article and their website monetized will make more money. So that's the gist, but how do you get a Google featured snippet? Well, first of all, you write a really great article which I have asked ChatGPT to do here. Um, but this particular video is just about how to write a Google featured snippet or a paragraph that summarizes the article that you've written in hopes that Google will use it for a featured snippet. So here is what I do. I give it a simple prompt and I'm gonna show you exactly how I would do this for this article. Let's start putting in the prompt. Please pretend to be Google and write a Google featured snippet that concisely um, sums up the main details of this article in under 300 characters. Please bold the snippet from start to finish. I found that helpful. Of course, you can go back and bold it later if you want. I like to give ChatGPT a little bit of a super prompt by saying begin with this, which would be ethical ghosting is, because that's the topic of this particular article. Now, I want to point out that because this article is really just about a topic, uh, explaining a, a certain topic, ethical ghosting in this case, um, that's why I said concisely sums up the main details of this article. Now, you can use that prompt every time, but if I am writing an article that about a question, such as what is ethical ghosting, then I might change this to say concisely answers the main question of this article. And the rest of it, I'll largely leave the same. Of course, this part will be different depending on the article that I'm writing, but I found it helpful um, in my different experimenting with different prompts. This one has worked the best for me. Let's see what we get. Sometimes it gives us something that's perfect. Every once in a while, it'll give something that's not so perfect. I'm thinking this is gonna be longer than 300 characters. And let's see, yeah, it's 400. So it gave us a longer one. So now I'm gonna ask it, sometimes it does that. Um, a lot of times it'll give me something between 200 and 300 characters. And I'll either add something to that or leave it the same as what I do a lot of the times. Um, in this case, I would just ask ChatGPT to please Condense this snippet to under 290 characters. And a lot of times that'll do exactly what I want. Sometimes it'll be too short and I'll have to tweak it a little bit, but this is the best. It's 243, that's not bad. Um, it says ethical ghosting is a respectful disengagement method with pros like providing closure and cons such as potential hurt. It's useful when dealing with disrespect or conflict, but not advised in long term. Yeah, so that's a pretty good summary um, of this article. It's it's a paragraph that I usually leave bolded. I usually put it somewhere in my article, often near the top of my article, um, so that a reader immediately gets the information and details that they may want from my content. And a lot of times Google will use this very type of paragraph when giving me Google snippets. Using these kinds of methods and some SEO has been very helpful and successful for me. I hope this helps you. I'll copy this, um, this prompt up here and I will put it in the video description under this video. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel and another video will be coming up in just a second. See you in that next video. Thank <laughs> you.